Hey guys, Troy with Mountain Man Treasure here, and uh, I had to go drop off all those packages that we sold over the weekend at the post office. And before I did that, I decided, you know what, might as well hit Goodwill and see what they had. Uh, hadn't been in there for a little while, so I decided, uh, let's zip in and then drop off all those packages. And you know what, I found some winners and some um, maybe winners. First thing we picked up is this, it's a Baron's ASVAB. These are flashcards. Uh, to help you study for that test. Um, picked this up for, it was $1.99. Um, this is not a big money maker here. Now, uh, one of them used, did sell recently for something like $35. I, maybe somebody desperately needed them and that was the only one listed. I don't know, because one just sold today for $15 free shipping. So that's what I think these are worth. I, th I think these are probably a $15 um, slide it in a uh, padded flat rate envelope because these are actually pretty heavy. So uh, a PFRE, they're going to go in there. We're going to make a couple bucks. Uh, we're, we're not going to make much off of these, but they seem to be a pretty consistent seller. So uh, I think we'll make a few bucks off of these pretty quick. That's why I picked them up because it was going to be quick. This is a far side mug. This is uh, the dog, this is a roll reversal, right? The dogs are tickling the guy, kicking the leg. Um, Double-sided, it's got the Larson signature on it. This was 99 cents. Um, Farside stuff sells well. And this mug has a pretty good sales history. I think this ought to go for about $15 plus shipping. So pretty good flip. Uh, Got a couple of mugs actually today. Got some glassware, but this one, uh, this one I'm pretty sure will sell relatively quickly for fifteen dollars. Um, the other mug we got, I did a quick comp search while I was there. Didn't see anything like this on eBay. This is uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide, and it is National Champions 2017. Um, didn't see one on there. So, and I like I said, I looked really quickly, but this was. Uh, $1.99, and it's actually, uh, it was Blue Tag Day Monday, so everything Blue Tag is a dollar, so got this for a dollar, figured I'd take a shot, and uh, once again, this is probably about a 15 maybe a $20 mug, but probably a $15 mug, so not bad for a buck. Um, these, I did pick up two of these, Kahlua, the Everyday Exotic, and then, in smaller print, enjoy your exotic moment responsibly. Um, these not for resale. Uh, Mrs. Mountain Man Treasure actually really likes Kahlua and Cream. Uh, likes the White Russian. So I got these. Um, little uh, flared lowball glass. Um, there's two of them. Two of these. They were 99 cents a piece. We're going to keep these um, for when she wants to do that. Then we don't have to have it in uh, the regular uh, glass. We can have it in uh, special Kahlua glasses. Fancy, right? Um, if if you did have maybe four of these and you had a set, they might sell. It's going to take a while, but you could maybe get 15, 20 bucks out of it. They're not really quick sellers. They, they don't really have a sales history, but just thought they were cool. So I grabbed them for me. Um, something else. These uh, This is another thing that I just grabbed. Um, one of the bags. Our bags don't typically, there's not a lot of great stuff in there. Um, so $2.99. We've got a vintage Uno game, this one from 1978. Uh, and then we've got the vintage Skippo game, that one I think from the early 90s. Um, those can sell, they don't sell super high value, but there's three things in here, it was $2.99, so they're a buck a piece. I figure I'll put it up, uh, I haven't looked at comps. We'll look at comps, we'll see um, if they're not super high value. Then we'll lot them together and sell them for $9.99 or something, I don't know. Um, but there was also actually this cool uh, Rubik's Cube in there. I'd never seen one like that before. Um, I'll look that up. Who knows? Um, might not be anything. Might be something that I give for Christmas to my daughter as a stocking stuffer. I don't know. Most of what we got was actually tennis shoes. Uh, I ended up finding one pair of running shoes and then stumbled into another. I don't know if they've been hoarding them back there, but um, starting in January, people are going to start wanting to get healthy again, right? They're going to want to get out. They're going to want to run. Running shoes are going to start selling. So keep an eye out for running shoes, uh, athletic shirts, shorts, that sort of thing, exercise equipment, uh, things like that, because that is going to start selling here uh, very, very quickly. I did pick up one clothing item. I didn't look in the clothes at all. This was just actually on the end of the rack, and I liked it. Um, yeah, Wolfpack. This is on 
this is on an anvil tag. I think it's probably from the 90s. Um, it's a size small, which is a bummer. Um, but I just really like the graphic. It was 99 cents. Um, actually, it was. Uh, that's also a blue tag. So anything that's a blue tag and already a dollar on dollar day, you get for fit, uh, half off. So uh, got this one for 50 cents. Uh, Wolf Pack Tank Top. I don't know. Took a flyer on it. And I'll research. I'll see if I can find out anything about it. But I thought the graphic was too cool to just let it sit there. Another really cool thing. Check this thing out. This is a vintage Wilton cake pan. Now, some Wilton sells okay on eBay. I found that a lot of it doesn't. Um, it does, from what I'm told, sell very well on uh, Amazon. So keep an eye out for that. They make it very easy to look it up. I'll show you how we do that. But I have got a 1978 DC Comics Wonder Woman. Now, this was $2.99. Um, was all that was so you can see it, it's definitely uh, a vintage piece um, Let's flip it around here, and I'll show you it's stamped all of the Wilton stuff is stamped now most of the um, The shaped cake pans that's Wilton's thing you're gonna see that that's Wilton um, If you look on here let's see if we can get this to focus in um, There we go, I think um, you can see it says that it's Wilton on there. It says that it's 1978 and then it's got a number. Now, you know how you look up Nike shoes by the number on the tag? Same thing with Wilton, right? This is a, uh, 502-7679. Um, works the same way actually with Tupperware. Uh, if you didn't know Tupperware, it's always itty bitty, but it's on there. Um, they have a number for the item and then there's usually a dash and then a number of how many things are in the set I think is the second number um, so you can look up Tupperware the same way but yeah you can look up Wilton by just punching in that number and if you punch in that number it will bring up the Wilton cake pan that you're looking at so that is uh, that's pretty cool now they did actually just drop the um, Wonder Woman trailer so Maybe we see a spike there. I don't know, but it was too cool to leave behind. It's from 1978 uh, Only three bucks now if this was and if this was new it would be huge right if it was still actually unused um, You would get $50 for it easily now these have sold uh, Pre-owned for $50, but you got to have the original um, it comes with uh, the paper that's inside there so you can see what it would look like when it was decorated um, It comes with that it comes with paperwork if you have all the original stuff with it um, I have seen them sell for 50 bucks for for this one for Wonder Woman um, In this condition now, it's it, it's in good shape. It doesn't have any dings or anything like that It is a little dirty. I'll have to wash it up um, But it's in good shape. I I don't know um, like I said with the box 50 without I don't know. I'm I'm looking at between 15 and 25 bucks plus shipping. So um, not a huge seller. I might put it at 25 and let it park and just see what happens. There's not that many on eBay, um, and I also ship internationally. So somebody internationally might want this, um, and it might go that way. So we'll see. It's not super heavy. You probably ship it uh, it, it on the edge of first class. Maybe once you get it in a box because you'd have to box it so it doesn't get dinged up. Um, but yeah, Wonder Woman, pretty cool. Three bucks into uh, eventually probably 15. Um, but most of what we got, I'm going to switch hands here so I can grab. Most of what we got were shoes. Um, the first one, let's grab this one. This one is the one that I'm not super confident about. I think this one's going to take longer. These are um, Adidas. These are the Adidas Boost. You can see I actually learned from Chris uh, Cernock. Uh, about that popcorn pattern there on the bottom, looks like little pebbles or whatever. Um, that's something to watch out for on these shoes. Um, these are in pretty good shape. Um, you know, you can see they've been worn on the bottom, but they're not worn down. Um, they're overall in very nice condition. They need, just need a little wash, um, but they're a good size. These are size 11? Yeah. These are size 11, so these are a good size. There's actually one on eBay right now is all of uh, this shoe in size 11. 
um, they've got it up for an auction starting at 35 bucks plus shipping. So we'll see. I might, uh, I've got to wash them anyway. I'm in no rush to get them up. So, um, I might kind of keep an eye on that and see what happens. If they get a couple of bidders, somebody's going to be upset that they didn't get the pair of shoes and then mine will show up. So I'm going to guess I can get between 35 and 40 for these is probably the range plus shipping. I paid for these $3.99. So not bad, four bucks, we'll let it sit for a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, some Adidas Boost. And now my dog is grunting at me, so let's go let the dog out. Hey buddy, you need to go outside? Are we going what? outside? Huh? Yeah, we're going outside? Okay, come on, let's go outside. Come on. All right, we'll go on. You want it out, go out. What? There, see? Jaeger says hi. Um, <laughs> he's a weird dog. Okay, um, what do we want to do next? How about these guys? Um, yeah, how about these guys? Okay, these are really dirty. Um, most, uh, uh, several of these shoes are dirty and they, they need to wash, but you know what? Washing tennis shoes, super easy. Uh, Magic Eraser will get a lot of stuff off and actually the spray uh, shout, spray that on there, scrub it with a toothbrush, let it sit for a little bit, drop it in a uh, gentle cycle in, in the di uh, dishwasher, in the washing machine, and, that, and that's it. And then take them out, let them dry, put some newspaper in there to help them keep their shape and to help them dry faster. And very often they look brand new after they come out. So I'm gonna do that with these. These are Hoka 1-1s. One um, there we go. Hoka 1-1s, one keep an eye out for Hoka. Okay, H-O-K-A. These are very good running shoes. Um, and these, uh, you can see on the bottom, trail shoes or whatever, they've used them on the trail, but they didn't abuse them. These are still in good shape. Now these are a pair of shoes, a lot of times you'll find them and they'll be trashed because people wear them until they fall apart. Um, several of the shoes that I found today are like that. So very cool that we found a pair that are in good shape. Now these are size 10, so it's a good size, men's size 10. We paid up for these. We paid, well, actually we didn't pay up for these that much. We paid $6.99 for these. Um, so that is not a bad deal at all. Once these are cleaned up, I think we can get between 50 and 55 bucks plus shipping for these. So Hoka 1-1, keep an eye out for those. Um, these things, you probably know if you pick up shoes, if you flip shoes, you know about these. Brooks, okay. Uh, Brooks makes very good running shoes. These are another one that you often find and you find trash because people wear them until they fall apart. Um, these are the Brooks Ghost 10. You can see that they wore them uh, trail running because it's got a pretty aggressive tread on there. Um, and so we've got to get out the, the gravel. We've got to wash them up. This one, yeah, actually on the side here, you can see pretty filthy. Um, so they're, they're dirty, but you know what, Brooks, like I said, uh, you know, the uppers are in very good shape. Um, I, there's not any pulls, there's not any, uh, rips or anything there. The toes are good. Um, everything about these shoes is very, very good. So the Brooks Ghost, these ought to go for about 40 to 45 bucks plus shipping. So for uh, 6 dollars into 40, very good with that. Okay, we've got one more set of shoes, and uh, here they are. These are ones maybe that you haven't heard of before. Um, these, I'm just going to grab one of them because they're not tied together and they're hard to grab. These I did pay up for. These we paid, you see that there? $9.99 for these. These are Kuru, uh, Kuru Carrera. There's what the Kuru looks like on the back, and it'll say, uh, where does it say Carrera? There it is on the side. Um, these are very good shoes. And you know what? These are, these along with the Hoka's are probably the best pickup that we made. And these are in the best condition. Um, I might run these. I don't even know if I need to run these through the wash, to be honest with you. Um, just scrub, uh, scrub the bottom a little bit quick with a toothbrush, get the, uh, the Goodwill silver off of there. Um, 
And you know why they do that? They do that at Goodwill because people were switching the tags. So they take a cheaper tag, they put it on a different shoe. Well, they've got a code now so they can match the silver writing to the tag. Different uh, writing means different price. So, um, yeah, that's unfortunate because it's a, a pain to get off sometimes. The bottom of shoes, not so bad, but they put it on tags and that sort of thing, and it's obnoxious, but um, I get why they do it. So these in very, very good shape. Um, I don't, you saw the one, look at this one too. I I don't know that they were, they were obviously worn, but not much at all. I mean, these bottoms are incredibly clean and these are very good shoes so these I'm, i'll be able to get these up right away because these are in such good shape um the kuru shoe this particular one will go between 45 and 55 bucks plus shipping so again we turned this one we turned 10 bucks into maybe 50 bucks so all told actually you know what i thought we were done we've got one more thing and this one could be a home run um it could be a uh pop fly out. I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know ceramics. I don't know pottery. I don't know glassware. I know mugs. You know, I pick up mugs sometimes, but um, I've never picked up a teapot before. We picked up a teapot. Um, it's very pretty. It's got like gold trim around it. It's got the flowers. I don't know. Um, make sure that's taped on there but I still don't want it to fall off and I want to turn this the right way it's stamped on the bottom so you can see who it is and it actually looks like it's signed potentially as well I don't I don't know but um, this is Sadler made in Stratfordshire England this is a vintage piece um, the comps are all over the place, uh, partly because I looked at it quickly and I don't know exactly what I'm looking at yet so if, if anybody is a uh, teapot expert Please help me out. I'm going to have to do some research. Um, that thing, it's very confusing. Um, there are some that sell for 10 bucks plus shipping. There are some that sell for 50 to 75. I saw one recently. Obviously, it was, it was more uh, ornate than that one. But it sold for $335. Same brand, same made in England. Um, so I really don't know. We could have a $10 piece. We could have a... $75 piece. I, I don't know. I have to do some research. Um, pick that up. It was $2.99. So I had to pick it up um, and, and look into it because even if it's 10 bucks plus shipping, we're going to make a couple bucks, right? Um, I think it'll sit around for a while unless it's one that is particularly valuable, but um, we'll see. So I don't know. Okay. So with a uh, mellow yellow, where do you ever see mellow yellow? I see it at Goodwill, and that's it. Um, grabbed a mellow yellow at the checkout. Um, so with that on there, got a drink. We're out of there for forty-eight oh eight. Is uh, is all we were charged. We're gonna make that up uh, off of uh, one of those pair of shoes, and then everything else is gonna be profit. So uh, that's fantastic. Uh, I think those shoes are gonna move relatively fast. We're gonna make our investment back pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, so I hope you learned something from here. I hope maybe uh, you know something about teapots and you can teach me something here. Um, if you liked anything that you saw, holler at me. We can certainly cut a deal. Okay, guys, since uh, we didn't accomplish the whole single one take thing anyway, I figure might as well take you into the washing machine and look at what these things look like after they've been uh, run through. Now, all I did is um, we put a little bit of uh, shout on there, sprayed some shout on there, scrubbed it with a toothbrush, um, let it sit, and then put it in the wash, straight away in the wash, cold water, uh, delicate cycle, and uh, just just let it go. Um, I had to go pick up my daughter, and now we're back. So uh, I haven't looked at these things yet. Let's see what they look like. Okay, so the lighting over here is not gonna be great, but let's see what we got here. Okay, so these are, remember the popcorn was a little bit dirty. And look at that. That is not bad. That looks like a pretty new shoe. Um, there's still spots here and there. You can see on the bottom where it was worn. But as far as just the looks of the shoe on the outside, that looks pretty good now. So that one's a win. Let's find its partner. Here we go. Oh, yeah, got stuck in there. So 
again, the uh, the whites cleaned up pretty well, and uh, just a little bit of wear on the bottom. So these are going to be good. All right, what do we got next? All right, the Hoka's. So these were pretty dirty on the bottom, but um, looks like they came out pretty slick too. So right there, Hoka, Hoka 1-1. One, one. Yeah, these are looking pretty sharp. Even the bottom came up pretty good. Again, you can still see that somebody wore them, but they know that. They know they're buying pre-owned shoes. And there's a lot of tread left. So let's find the mate down there. I think it's here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that one looks good too. You can see there's a little bit of splitting there. Um, and that's not great, but otherwise this is a really nice shoe so um 45 50 bucks probably and then let's see what we got with the brooks yeah those came out looking great these ones weren't all that dirty in the first place so these are going to sell really well brooks is a great shoe uh, bottom cleaned up nice so that looks pretty good, and we might as well finish it off. Let's look for the second Brooks, because one of them was dirty on the side. I don't remember which one it was now. Uh, that's pretty sharp. Yeah, here it was. It was this one. So there's just a little bit left there. And actually, that's why I wear pants, right? Yeah. Some of that even came off. So that looks great. Um, these are going to be good sellers. So these are all going to go up in the store. I'm going to let them sit overnight and dry just in case somebody buys them today. I don't want to have to ship them out if they're wet. So these are going to sit. They're going to dry. And tomorrow we're going to list them. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by this little thrift haul. And uh, the next video, I think, I haven't had time to do it yet. I know I talked about it in the last video, Dark Tower. I found Dark Tower. I still haven't tested it. So uh, we'll maybe do a live testing and uh, see if this thing works. That's coming up later this week. So don't miss that, guys. That's called a teaser.